I, Dina Larson Gaisley, with two of my closest friends. This is Clover and this is Rosie. And we're gonna talk about, you know, the ideal, the ideal dog shape size. Obviously, all dogs wanna look like Clover, right? Standard doodle. This is the ideal. Every dog wants to look like Clover or maybe Rosie. Every dog, Clover just wishes she would do anything if she could be the same shape, size, uh, hair, color, and texture as Rosie. That's, that doesn't make any sense, right? So I was watching a show on Netflix about the Westminster Dog Show. And you know, we're talking about dogs, but obviously Clover's bigger. And so they were talking about hounds. So now we're talking about a, a specific breed. So they bring out the Afghans and the bloodhounds and the beagles and the bassets and the dachshunds. So now let's get specific. They're comparing hounds to hounds. Still all different shapes, sizes, um, length. And the announcer says about the Afghan, you see the prominent hip bones. That is not a skinny dog. That is a trait of the breed, a trait of the breed. And it was, it, it just hit me. You know why we celebrate, we, we, we congratulate and celebrate these specific breeds for how they are supposed to be smaller, supposed to be bigger. Why can't we do that with people? Why can't we celebrate? Why can't we celebrate that we are supposed to be all different shapes, sizes? 